All right, so this is a video that I've been uh, wanting to make for a while. It's just to give you a blender file that you can make your own slides with. Now, if you want to watch this part, you can. Uh, basically, what I do is I like import in a car from the game and uh, go ahead and get the size of the scale for this thing. So, you know, I'm going to make like a slide. Well, it's going to be like a little road. So, you know, that would probably be good enough. And then I'll go into edit mode. And uh, subdivide this thing. Because so it's got to be subdivided or it's not going to bend. That's probably enough subdivisions. Uh, now I'll put some loop cuts in it. Because this will be the edge here the edge of the track now you don't get carried away with these because you end up making too many polygons and too many polygons is uh, no good on performance let's give this thing a texture this particular 8k road texture uh, is like called American Road or something I'll just call it Road 8k it came from our, uh, yeah, it came from another game engine. But it looks pretty good. So we'll go into here and get it and apply it. All right. See, this is kind of what I had in mind. And, you know, so for the edge of the uh, road here, you know, it'll be kind of like a little hump, you know, to keep you from going off the edge as easily. So what we'll do is go into a side view, and we'll pick these here edges. And then we will turn on proportional editing and remember, you will not be able to influence the amount of proportional editing until once you begin to actually move the thing, then you can get a little circle up here. You see that circle up here? That circle is where you hit page up, page down to determine how much you want to influence. So this is just kind of like what I had in mind nothing too drastic just something just to be like this little lip on the end to kind of help keep you on the road all right then the next step is to make it an array well before I forget let's shade it smooth and then we'll add an array modifier an array modifier extends the length of something depending on which axis you tell it to and uh, the fixed count of course is how many times it's going to repeat itself so I don't want to make this entirely too long of a, of, a, of a road but let's do 100 all right now we'll apply this array and now we'll add a curve path now you'll see a little line appear it may appear going the other direction just rotate it you can use this here I use R on the keyboard to rotate but if you hold down control when you rotate it locks the rotation if you look at the top left up there at the top left up there where blender is you see a rotation degrees so you see it anytime you hold control down it locks it at five degrees makes it easier to do five degree increments so you just want to get it the same direction as the road you can also hit s to scale it i'm going to scale it larger than what it is uh, but each one of these come with nodes already i just scale it a little larger because it's easier to see it now if we go to edit mode with this NURBS path is what it's called. Uh, let's just change the name of this to road. 
road 8k no matter just something uh, and this is our let's change this to slide modify modifier so in edit mode the slide modifier you see these little balls here now you can move you can move these say you know in these different directions and you can see how it'll move this line up down left right forward back whatnot but to make a slide that's less hassle, just go to a perfect side view like sit like this. That way when you select these and you move them around with the either this move key or the letter G. You know what why am I saying this? I keep forgetting to turn. I can turn this on and you can see I'm pressing what key I'm pressing. Though it doesn't show you every every key. It does show you pretty much most of them so you can move these but to make a new one you have to hit E and as you can see it's transforming the shape of this slide or ramp or you know whatever As long as you stay in a perfect side view, you don't have to worry about it going, you know, to the left or to the right. Uh, it'll stay in a perfect, you know, line. And if you run out of road and you have more of this path, don't worry about it. You just, it'll just fit the road on there as much as it can. Then you just have path remaining. All right, so uh, I hate this camera. You probably want to also go to view and make this like ten thousand meters so you can see farther. So now that we got this little path here, and yeah, the path is a lot longer than this, this damn road here. Um. What we're going to do now is uh, we're going to go back to object mode and we're going to pick the road. And we're going to add a modifier curve. Now we're going to pick this path. And you see how it attached the road to it. Alright, let's just give it a sample. Let's. I'm going to save this Blender file so that it is in this state. So that you can... Um, at any time just go to edit mode and uh, select well select the path first and then go to edit mode you can see that when in edit mode with this curve modifier applied here well it's not applied it's it's added it's not applied once it's applied then it's set in stone basically so for now, as you move these around, you can see it moves the road around. See? Alright, now, I'll just duplicate this road 8K. I'll make a duplicate of it. Uh, in object mode, I'll do that. Sorry. I'll duplicate it. And this one I'll apply the curve modifier because I want to. This is the road that I want to actually use. So I'll just rename this to I don't know test one or something. I don't know. All right, this one um, we're going to export as a DAE, but we're going to say selection only. And in the level that we're going to test this in, uh, I'm going to put it in this new lava level. In the art folder, make a new folder. Um, it's whatever you want to call it, don't matter. And that's where you export your road to. It don't matter what you name the DAE, I'll just call it number one. 
and uh, off it goes. Now we'll load the level and we will have a road. Just keep in mind we didn't do a proper collision mesh where you know we either like make a collision mesh or we duplicate the road to make that the collision mesh. We're going to be just relying solely on the in-game um, visible mesh final. So, we're going to go to unincorporated Mustafar, an area that's not had any work done. It's just kind of out here in the open. Yeah, this looks pretty bad out here, in fact. Alright, we'll import in that road. 5,648 assets. Yeah, that's a little little much. A little too many. So here is a road. Yeah. And um, as you can see, this road here, it is just kind of here. I don't even know where. I guess that's where the road ends down there. Uh, one good thing about making these mesh roads is they're basically meshes. What I mean by you can go to your terrain tools and you can align up to mesh the terrain block. So if you didn't have the road here at all, you see you get the terrain can kind of stick to it. What I'll do sometimes is I'll just move it over to the side and I'll do this a few times where I'll bring up the terrain. Uh, like this and you'll see here why in a second All right, and I'll put it back where it was originally or around about where it was at and then I'll say a line down to mesh And you see it just kind of puts your little edge of the road next to you. Um, just one way to kind of do that. Now you see that is sticking through there like that. So this road wasn't double side. I mean, it's not, it's a paper thin road. So if you wanted to do this, you probably would need to uh, raise this up just a bit. But yeah, that's just one little creative thing you can do. Now I realize this is very ugly terrain out here. This terrain is not even meant to be up close. This is just for like far away viewing terrain. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of terrain paints I can slap on there for now just to make it look like something. I like this gravel rock looking stuff personally. A good thing too about if you use a mesh instead of like a, if you use the mesh for the road, you can edit the material, you can change the uh, ground model to something other than asphalt. I mean, I realize this is asphalt, but you could change it to mud, for example, which I'll do. And, uh, I think I actually got normal maps for this too. It's in a different folder though. Oh yeah, when you let this game make this, it will not turn on anastrophic filtering by default, so turn that on. All right, so let's see. Let's just give it a, let's give it a, oh yeah, inspector. Visible mesh final. 
rebuild collisions and let's drive on it. Let's bring our vehicle over here on this muddy asphalt. Now the car can act really weird. It can like when you go over the edge of one of these kind of paper thin mesh roads, it can act kind of crazy. What I mean is, oh, you'll see. Well, it didn't that time. Or that time, but sometimes it can snag and it'll kind of like, oh, now I can't get it to do it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so. So basically, yeah, that's, that's how you can do that. And if you're like wanting to make something like this, it isn't a whole lot of trouble to say, well, I like that, but maybe here I want to do this. You can just tab back to Blender. Uh, you can go back to the road that you have not applied the curve to and uh, pick the curve modifier in an edit mode and do a little work to it Oh, I realized I ran out of road. Duplicate the new road again. Just delete the other one. Duplicate this one. And since the texture's already made and all. Oh yeah, I gotta go to object mode. You can make a different one. Uh, just to remember to apply the curve. Export it. And you can make a new one or overwrite the old one. No matter. Just make sure you do selection only if you do this. And in the game, it'll update with the new one. And then don't forget to rebuild collisions. And you can see now this has the new a new change done to it. You know, I, I know this doesn't get mud, but let's just to show you. You can do that. be too much problem to uh, possibly add an array modifier to the existing road and make it even longer. Let's see if we can do that. All right. Array. 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 No, that's not going to work. 
because it is already uh, wait 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 maybe move that to there there we go now we talking now we talking see how it's just extending that on out there into the yonder all right so what you do at this point You'd apply the first one first, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, and then you apply the last one. But don't do that yet. Duplicate it with Shift-D. And the duplicate, apply it. And then when you export this one, overwrite that one, you'll have a new longer road. Should anyway. Yeah, this road goes who knows where. Well, it's a long way. Yep. Long road. Does it ever end? I don't know. I don't know. But we will rebuild collision. And we will uh, plop down here and... I can't drive work to crap, can I? We are in an area that is underdeveloped. What you thinking? I can't see the road from underneath. That's what you're going to hear. Just tell it to be double sided. In the uh, advanced tab, I believe. No, where is it? Where is double sided? Oh, there we go. So. So yeah, I'll give you the Blender file, these textures, and uh, by all means, make whatever you like. If you do prefer to have a more solid type of road, uh, I'll have to make a different video on that. I don't want to get too confusing with trying to explain how to do... Well, there is another modifier that solidifies... Um, 
or is it skin? I'm not sure. One of these always damn like locks up my blender. It just for some reason just doesn't work when I try to use it. But that would be something you would decide from the beginning. See, I made this like a mesh plane that way. Because if it was a box, then it had to have even more subdivisions. This is like the way you get by with like the minimum amount of subdivisions necessary to make something bend and stuff. And, uh, and no, while you can use this method to bend train tracks, also this will not work. Uh, very well when it comes to bending train tracks. I've tried it. And it does bend them, but uh, the trains just don't seem to like anything I'm making here for for uh I haven't had any luck making train tracks that function. I mean they look like train tracks but they don't function like them. And when you bend them they function even less like them. But anyway, so if you this should be all you need to do. Once again, you you know, you can delete that. Just load the blender file, the slide modifier is what you go into edit mode and modify. I made this thing longer so you got a lot more road now. Uh, if you want to, you can also select all these vertices. You can go to control points and you can say smooth. You also can rotate these points. You can tilt these points. There's so many things you can do with them points. I'm just scraping the tip of the iceberg basically uh, but yeah so all you need to do is just edit that curve and don't forget when you go to object mode to duplicate it don't forget to apply these modifiers that are in the duplicate that you're going to export do the uh, array first and then the curve second and just export override the other one or make multiple ones it's up to you. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, this originally was going to be on like making a, a slide. I had like made a, a wood plank bridge road. But it was so many polygons that I figured it's going to probably be a lot of headache for some of you all. Uh, if there is too many polygons for your system with this array modifier, see I have it cranked up to 7, you can reduce this down to make this a shorter stretch of road if you need to. So I'm leave all this like this and uh, I'll go ahead and apply the two modifiers here so you get an idea how that looks for the uh, I'll even name it modifiers already applied I think that should be pretty much it that should pretty much get you all making some uh, some road sections and, and things I'll zip this up and include it with the video.